name is Anderson Zahn, and today I will be testing how the temperatures of magnets affect their strength. The reason I am doing this project is because I love collecting ferromagnetic minerals, like these, in my backyard. Sometimes I wonder why, it's, why it picks up more when it's cold outside than when it's hot. And that's why I chose to do this project. My hypothesis is that the colder the magnet gets, the stronger its magnetic field will be. This is why I predict that magnet chilled in the freezer or dry ice will have a stronger pull on a ferromagnetic material, like this ferromagnetic hex nut right here, than when it is heated to like the temperature of an oven. In my research, I also learned that magnets have, ma have operating ranges. When an, any magnet goes above its operating range, it will receive irreversible loss in magnetic strength. And if a ceramic magnet goes below its operating range, it will, re it will also receive irreversible loss of magnetic strength. I was interested to see if this would happen in my project. Today, we will be testing two types of magnets. A ceramic magnet, also known as a ferrite magnet, and a neodymium magnet, which is very powerful. To test the strength of a magnet, I first had to come up with a testing procedure. And my testing procedure is, first you will need a level, two 12-inch rollers, a ferromagnetic hex nut, a large ceramic ring magnet with a 10 centimeter diameter, and a large neodymium ring magnet with a 5 centimeter diameter. So first, you tape down the level onto a piece of cardboard with masking tape. Then you place down a ruler next to it and tape that down. Then you place the other one next to it like a one or two centimeters, like two centimeters apart. And then you uh, place the magnet right here. You trace around it with the, with the Sharpie. And you do the same for the neodymium magnet. And then you place down the ferromagnetic hex nuts with the triangle ruler right behind it. And that's it. The basic testing procedure is as follows. First, you put the magnet in its spot that you outlined with a Sharpie. First, you should do the ceramic magnet. Then, you measure its temperature with a surface thermometer. You write it down, either in a table that you write down on the piece of cardboard or on a device like an iPad. Then you gently, very slowly, push it forward until it's attracted to the magnet. And once the hex nut has been attracted to the magnet, you measure where the ruler is, and you also write that down in your table that's either on your device or on the cardboard. So you should do it in five times total. And then you also do that for the other magnet. After testing them at room temperature, I also tested them at, in dry ice and in a freezer and boiling water in the oven. After all my testing, the neodymium magnet, when I put in the freezer, got stronger. Then, when I put in the dry ice, it got even stronger. And when I put it in the boiling water, it suffered a small amount of irreversible loss. But when I put it in the oven, it received a huge amount of irreversible loss. And now, it is extremely weak. And with the ceramic magnet, when I put it in the freezer, it got stronger. When I put it in the boiling, it got weaker. When I put it in the oven, it got way weaker. And when I put it in the dry ice, I was surprised to find that it was not demagnetized. And later on, I realized that this was because it was in a bag. So I took them out of the bags, put it in direct contact with the dry ice, and then I finally found that it was demagnetized. My testing confirmed that a colder magnet will have a stronger magnetic field than a hotter magnet means it can pull the ferromagnetic hex nut from a longer distance.
but when you put this one past like in the oven then it's basically really weak and when you put this one in direct contact with your ice it gets weaker not that much but it still gets weaker and when you get back up to room temperature it was weaker than it was at room temperature before I had a lot of fun learning about magnets and testing them in different scenarios. I learned that the neodymium magnets are used to orient satellites in space. And ceramic magnets are used in the oil and gas industry. Sometimes to clean pipes, sometimes to collect, to check for corrosion, and magnets are also used in MRIs. Thank you for watching my video about my project. I really enjoyed it. Bye.